Creating mouse over or rollover effects like these are easy in Zara Web Designer, and I'll show you how to create this effect from scratch. It takes a couple of minutes only. In a blank document, I'll draw a rounded rectangle. Click here to make it rounded. Adjust the corner radius by dragging here. I'll bring up the colour editor and select a suitable colour for my background. I'll also adjust the line width to be thicker using this menu. And I'll give it an outline colour by choosing one from the colour line. I'll import three photos from my file explorer using drag and drop. Be careful not to drop on top of an existing photo or it will just replace the one you just loaded. Now, using the selector tool, I'm going to adjust both the size and the angle of each photo. Just drag on the corner handles to resize. I'm doing this by eye, but you could enter the exact angles if you wanted. I'll also adjust the line width. And I'll give it an outline colour by choosing one from the colour line. Using a combination, I can get the desired position and angle. So I'm arranging them so they overlap slightly, all within the rounded rectangle background. Using the shadow tool, I select the first photo and shift click on the other two, so all three are selected. See the status line? And now I'll just drag to create a soft shadow for all three. And adjust the shadow blur and transparency. With all three photos selected, go into the Photo tool. I can adjust the various settings, but I want the pictures to be black and white. So I adjust the saturation control, like this. And I want them blurred. So I adjust the blur control to maximum blur. I can actually enter a blur value larger than minus 99 by typing a value. To create the rollover effect, I need to place versions of each photo on three new layers. And we'll use the mouse over feature to show the layer as I mouse over each photo. So I copy the first image to the clipboard. Go into the layer gallery and click New. I'll call this layer Photo 1. Then just paste in place the copied photo. This puts a copy exactly on top of its original. Now, back in the Photo tool, the quick way to reset the values is just click the Compare button. You can see what the effect will be. Just click here in the Layer Gallery to show and hide the layer. This is the effect we'll get when we mouse over. Now just do exactly the same for the other two photos. Copy each photo, create a new layer, and paste in place. I'm using key shortcuts to do this now. Copy, new layer, paste in place, and reset the colour and blur. And by turning on and off each of these new layers, we can check the effect. The last thing we need to do is set the mouse over trigger. So go back to the bottom mouse off layer and select the first photo. Bring up the web properties dialog. The mouse over tab controls what happens when I mouse over this object on the page. So in this case, I want it to show the new photo one layer. So I select it from the list. Click Apply, not the OK button. This keeps the dialog on screen so I can repeat the process for each picture. So click on the middle photo and choose Photo 2 as the mouse over. Click Apply. And again, on the last one we want Photo 3 to be shown. That's it. Now let's just preview this as a web page. And there we are. A great mouse over effect. All created using just Zara Web Designer in just a few minutes, and there's no other software required at all. Finally, let's go one step further. When you mouse over each picture in the browser, the 
corresponding layer is shown. You can put anything you like on this layer, so I'm going to put some text alongside each picture. So in the layer gallery, select the layer to make it the current layer, and make it visible and editable. Using the text tool, enter some text you want to show, like this. The status line will confirm you're working on the right layer. And I'm going to enlarge the photo as well. And the same for each layer. Select the right layer, make it visible and editable, enlarge the photo or adjust it as required, and the text. I'll just copy the last text and paste it into the new layers and then edit it. And again, adjust it. And the same again with the last layer. Now let's check this out. Preview your web page. And now the effect is even better. There is one final optimization. When you create a photo with a soft shadow, Zara Web Designer will convert this to a PNG image. But in many cases, you can get away with this being a JPEG image. You can force any image to be a JPEG using the Image tab of the Web Properties dialog. First, I want to select all six photos. And the easy way to do that is to enable all layers. These two controls mean all layers are visible and editable. And to now do a Control A to select all. And then in the Web Properties dialog, set the image type to be JPEG and click OK. Let's preview. As you can see, this still works fine, but now the images are exported as JPEG, which creates a faster download for your website.